when the owner becomes the owned, it has no choice but to be truthful and extremely obedient. The dead body. You look on viewers. Well, twice by error, I repeated the same saying, like the last one, uh, and another one some time ago. Uh, that's the, my last video. That's by the way, it's one of those things. I promised, I promised uh, to tackle this uh, topic some mistakes Christian singles make. But before then, there's an equally interesting topic here. Ways to nurture your partner by touching. Well, we know there are married women all over the place. We have more married couples than, uh, sorry, more married couples than are married, I believe, in the world. And so this, is, this may be good for them. Uh, so ways to nurture uh, your partner by touching. You can see the picture of a beautiful couple there. Mm -hmm. And then, some mistake Christian singles make above what we're going to read. <clears throat> uh, so, Namshi, some uh, ways to nurture your partner, your partner by touching, keys to romance by Rindolph Denchi, by Rindolph Denchi. One, how often for no particular reason. Hmm? Hug often for no particular reason. Always greet or leave with a kiss. Always greet or leave with a kiss. Kiss when there's no occasion. <laughs> I love this man. Huh? Okay. Third, sit close to each other, whether in church or at home. Oh, sorry, sit close to each other, whether in church or at home. Watch in TV. Four, get to bed at the same time and cuddle before you go to sleep. Allow a few minutes in the morning to hold each other before you get up. <clears throat> fifth one. Uh, yeah, I think that's fifth. Yes, fifth. Uh, show as much concern for your partner's body as you do for your own. Well, I don't know. Viewers can guess what that means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe the health. It could even mean the health. Yes. Uh, sif. Practice expressing your love through the medium of tender touch. First of all, find out what feels good to your partner. Seven, give each other back rubs. Give each other back rubs. Massages. Full stop. Use a pleasing lotion or scented oil, full stop, enjoy. Eight, I suppose, yes, eight. Take your shower or bath together, be high-hearted and sensuous. Take your shower or bath together, be high hearted and sensuous. Ninth, develop positive feelings towards your own body. See 
PS 193 13 to 14. I think PS yes, that stands for Psalms. Hmm. So let me repeat that. Develop positive feelings towards your own body. CPS 139 13 to 14. The next one. Stay in physical contact while going to sleep. Well, but I, 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 I think, well, I think he's, he's mentioned, but I think it always happens. Next one. Hold hands when you take a walk. Next one. Hold hands when you take a walk. Enjoy the thrill of holding hands anytime. Last one. Think of ways to say, I love you by tender touch. That's a beautiful one there, isn't it? Worth reading mm -hmm. and worth emulating for married couples. Maybe even for, you know, starters. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> now we go to our main topic, which is mistake. Uh, some mistakes Christian singles make. Mistake number five. Oh, I think this one. Uh, this is a continuation because what I have here is mistake number five. Anyway, <clears throat> we think that anything is better than being alone. That's in uh, deep printing. We think that anything is better than being alone uh, under the thick line. While it's true that we have basic needs for companionships, it is not true that aloneness, be alone, that aloneness is the worst condition in the whole world. In fact, I love it, to be alone. I love it very much to be alone. <clears throat> Note that I said aloneness, that's alone, being alone. Alone, then ness added e n n s, uh, not lonely but alone. Not not that I said aloneness, not loneliness. There is a big difference. Yes, mm -hmm. the grandpa may separate himself and sit somewhere alone for some reason, but that doesn't mean he's lonely. That's why this piece is telling us a single. A single is alone much of the time because he or she lives alone. Many singles are not alone much of the time because they live with others and are on the and are on the go all because they live oh, and are on the go all and are on the go all the time. Sorry, and are on the go all the time. Pardon me now on the go all the time. But whether or not you are not alone, you can still be lonely. Yes. You can be amongst people and be lonely. Mm -hmm. You can even be in the entertainment hall and be lonely. Eh? You can be lonely. Loneliness is an attitude. Aloneness is a circumstance. Can you hear that? Loneliness it's an attitude. Aloneness is circumstance. Paragraph. Most people fear aloneness because to them it represents loneliness. Yes. Some people there, for some people there's no difference between aloneness and loneliness. Between being alone and not lonely and then being lonely. Many people don't see the difference in it. This writer is telling us, most people fear loneliness because to them it represents, oh, sorry. Many people fear aloneness because to them it represents loneliness. 
they haven't learned to fill their time so that aloneness is valuable and refreshing for them. The singles should learn to love their aloneness. If you are single, learn to love your aloneness. In fact, I do love it a lot, much of the time. Pardon me for being selfish. And I've lived many others around the world. There are so many lonely people around the world. God is one of the others. Uh, it's uh, a situation that involves only one person. So many. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the singles should learn to love their loneliness. This is possible. Are the singles learn? As the, this, is, this is possible. As the single, as the single learn to enjoy the presence of God and stop equating aloneness with loneliness. Let me repeat that. This is possible. As the single learn to enjoy the presence of God and stop equating lonely, aloneness with loneliness. So you see, the presence of God is mentioned here. And I believe uh, aloneness. May, may involve meditating. You need to separate yourself, sit somewhere and meditate. Think about good things. Think about the world. Mm -hmm. Think about people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's go. Some singles think that a Saturday night alone is a fit worse than death. It's not true. As a Christian single, as a Christian single said, one weekend I decided to call a few friends to make some plans. Full stop. As I called the first number, the inner voice I was learning to hear said, said so clearly, Can't you trust me? Don't you know I am I am God? Please. Can't you trust me? Don't you know I am God of uh, don't you think don't you know I am God of the weekends alone also? Don't you think I am God of the weekends also up here? Mm. So don't you think I am God of the weekends also? Mm. I put the phone down. Full stop. Inverted comments close. Though not all singles have acquired this communication level with God. The presence is to all. He is God of the weekends also. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat that. Uh, though not all singles have acquired this communication level with God, the message is to all. He is God of the weekends also. Yes, that message is to all. Yeah. It's God of the weekends also. Uh, spend quality time by reading good books and by praying to God. Full stop. Ask God to help you get out of the feeling of loneliness. And I did, including, and I, I, I would say, including listening to my channel. Huh? So spend the weekend, including listening to my channel. The, Listen to matters concerning the scriptures in general. Huh? Uh, I want. I don't want to be selfish here. Listen to uh, the scriptures, or reading the scriptures, or listen to uh, videos concerning the scriptures. Hmm? I'm not saying you stop other channels. No. So, let's go. Spend quality. Let me repeat this. Spend quality time reading good books and by praying to God and by praying to. God, to God, full stop. Ask God to help you get out of the feeling of loneliness. Paragraph. <clears throat> Have you learned to yell for help to the Lord at that panic moment? Have you learned to yell for help to the Lord at that panic moment? David did it all the time, and we need to do the same thing. Here are some few examples. Yes, David did it all the time. 
even though he was gifted, he kept on praying. Huh? The theologian said David's voice was so nice. Anytime he sang, birds would come and come around him, perch, and even die of hunger because of his nice, melodious voice. Huh? And you can see the hymn songs for the Christian of the Christians is very melodious, very nice, very mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. So he didn't stop. Upon all that, he didn't stop uh, yelling to God. That's what this article, article is telling us. Mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let me repeat that. Have you learned to yell for help to the Lord at that panic moment? David did, David did it all the time, and we need to do the same thing. Here are a few examples. So even though David was, gift, was gifted with abundant a bounty, he was still yelling to God for, for help, or for help not to take uh, for, for for God not to help to take away the bounties that He gave him. Do we do that? That's my own. Okay, let's go on. Namshi. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to God for help. That's Psalm 18, 6. I love that. Hmm? Yes, I love that. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to God for help. Psalm 18, 6. Oh Lord, my God, I called you for help, and you healed me. Full stop. Then, we, then that is, I think Psalm 30, Psalm 32. Then, this poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He, he saved him out of all his troubles. Psalm 34, 6. Paragraph. There's no question. There's no question that we all have moments of loneliness. Whether we are married or single. Yes. Some people think going into marriage kicks away loneliness. No. Uh, this writer is telling us that no. That's a mirage. Uh, uh, let me see. There is no question that we all have moments of loneliness, whether we are married or single. Mm -hmm. A letter from one woman reads... A letter from one woman reads, uh, I am a Christian, but still have feelings of loneliness, even though I am surrounded by a husband and four sons. Can you hear that? This is a lesson for us all. Hmm? She's not alone. Hmm? It's not an isolated case for her alone. It happens. So many people have families. Husband, wife, children, wife, and yet they feel lonely. My God. Huh? Back in Africa, yeah, some of us think you, you fly to America, loneliness is gone. You fly to Russia, loneliness is, not, is gone. No. In the aircraft, there is loneliness. Hmm? Even in spaceship, there is loneliness. The loneliness is a matter of the heart. Hmm? You see a poor couple in a mad home, and they are happy. Oh, yeah. A poor couple in a mad home, far in the bushes, and they are happy. They have a unity. No problems at all. You go to the mansions. Some people are in tall, tall, tall mansions, and they are lonely. Hmm? You were passing by, you look up, and you see the opposite sex look at you admiring you, wishing you were with them. They are lonely. Hmm? So that's why I say we read these are signs. These are signs, supporting signs in the scriptures. I think viewers, you agree with me now. Let's see. I hope I haven't missed uh, that place again. I, have, I hope I haven't missed that place as usual. Uh -huh. Let me repeat it. I'm a Christian but still have feelings of loneliness, even though I'm surrounded by a husband and four sons, full stop. Sometimes the, lon the loneliest place in the world is right in the middle of a crowd. 
Oh, yeah. Maybe I mentioned, I forgot to mention the uh, crowd. Yes, you'll be in a crowd, and all of a sudden, loneliness sets in. You don't know where it's coming from. You might even forget that you are in a crowd. Oh, my God. Hmm. So let me repeat that. Sometimes the loneliest place in the world, in the world, is right in the middle of the crowd, of a crowd. Loneliness is a feeling we cannot get through this life without experiencing. So without, without, experience, without experiencing it to some degree, yeah, without experiencing it, without experiencing it to some degree. Full stop. But to settle for anything as a substitute for loneliness is the big mistake. There's nothing you can do when you are lonely. You can't substitute anything for it. It comes, it comes. That's why we must worship God. He created the God. Uh, he created the world, sorry. Uh, and the prophets were lonely. Felt lonely at certain times. I remember certain verses in the Quran that is telling the prophet not to be lonely. So, he's telling the prophet not to be lonely. There are other similar verses in the Quran like that. What is he telling us? We can't be. There's nothing we can do without being lonely. In the case of Adam, God created him, and because he knew he would be lonely, he created Eve from his flesh to help him. And did that help? The two of them were able to, uh, the two of them were deceived by the snake to eat a fruit that God forbade them from eating because of forgetfulness. So whatever you do, loneliness, no way. Nothing. There is no substitute for it. I love this writing. I love this writing. There is no substitute for loneliness. Hmm? Uh, let me get that again. Uh, but to settle for anything as a substitute for loneliness is the big mistake. Yes. There are worse things than loneliness. And by God's grace, we do not have to be overcome and defeated by loneliness. Full stop. He can, he can take our Aloneness. This uh, he has uh, left loneliness aside. Now he's come to aloneness. Uh, he can take our aloneness and turn it into beautiful, fruitful, productive time with him. Who is that him? God the Almighty. Hmm? Okay. Paragraph. Learn the wonderful secret of enjoying your aloneness. It saves you so much grief. Learn the wonderful secret of enjoying your aloneness. It saves you so much grief. Hmm? Full stop. Recognize that being alone does not mean you are a social misfit. Yes. Full stop. Don't buy the lies of our enemy who wants you to feel desperate. Full stop. Uh... We, we act in an irrational and unprincipled ways. Full stop. When we feel an overpowering need to have someone here, yeah, we will settle for anything. Full stop. Last paragraph. Also recognize your need for social interaction and plan good things. You may invite your friends over to your house for weekends. Full stop. It's not good to be alone too much. It's not good to be alone too much. You can become too introspective. You can become too introspective. Da -da 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 -da. Reach out of others and share your time. Sorry, reach out to others and share your time. Enjoy those peoples. Enjoy those people for who they are. And you will discover that the, the loneliness, and you discover that the loneliness goes away. I think here the writer is backfiring. Hmm? The loneliness is difficult to go away. I say it, I, Suleiman, say it, it's difficult to go away, except by.
by way of reflection, meditating, thinking about God, or accepting it like that, because it's not going to stay forever. It will go. Mm? It's not going away because we're in a crowd. No. It's not going away because you change the location. No. It's going away because it is timed. The time for the loneliness is there, created by God, and it will go. Mm? And uh, some people make the mistake of doing things, going wayward, waywardly when they are lonely. And some drink. The moment they are lonely, they drink or take in uh, drugs. But then they are only postponing the loneliness. When the power of whatever they've taken goes, loneliness sets in again, in a worse matter, with other ramifications. I remember one watchman in Lagos I was working working with in that lab, called Mr. Okol. And what did he say? He said, thinking, thinking. Now here they make money drinking, drinking. <laughs> I would never go to forget Okolo. But then he said, he said, that's cool. They're holding the head like this. And when he said, oh, Mr. Okolo, how is that? He said, thinking, thinking. Now here they make money drinking, drinking. So he says, thinking, that's loneliness. It's what makes man to drink. But what happens when he drinks? You feel high. You, high. you feel on top of the world. But what about when the power of the drink goes? You come back to square one. Or you continue drinking like that. When it's coming, you drink. When it's coming, you drink. Then you become alcoholic. And so many health complications set in. Hmm? Oh my God, life. Such is life. Nobody can avoid loneliness. No. That's why the scriptures are there. Mm? It's better to avoid loneliness by reading the scriptures mm? or going to the house of God to pray. To pray with others. That's the best way of whiling away times of loneliness. Well, we've gone, we're going to page 10 now. Uh, another spiritual uh, topic, share a thought. Then, being a woman, da, 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 a curse or a blessing by Ebenezer Ewa, we have also saved by the stars. <laughs> Campus life. We have on this page, it happened to me, the truth. Then, underneath, we have my deepest regret. Uh, subtitle, or underneath, en route. Hmm? Let me show you the page so you can see the topics yourself before we start. That's campus life in the middle there. <clears throat> we might not be able to read all, all on this page in this video. Nonetheless, we will start with uh, share a thought. Oh, I, can, I love this picture. You see how they are sitting down? You see how one is sitting there, supporting the head with his hand? Hmm? He's thinking, oh my God. So you are not alone. If you are lonely, you are not alone. Hmm? Most of us, I stay alone most of the time, but I, I'm not lonely. I get tired, but not lonely. I get tired rather, sorry. Okay. Share a thought. Being a woman, a curse or a blessing by Ebenezer Ewa. Mm? Let us look in time order at the activities undertaken by a woman present by the woman peasant farmer in the rural area in a day. Yeah. You can see I'm saying that some people live in mud houses deep in the bush. That's rural area. And yet they are not lonely. This is it. To be frank, I didn't know that this, the next article would read this way. Hmm? Okay. By a woman present farmer in a rural area in a day. 5 a.m. Yes, that's she wakes up 5, 5 a.m. Wakes up from bed. Some wake up as early as 4 a.m. Hmm? Yes, many. Depending on the type of work they do, sweeps the compound and goes out to fetch water from the well. Or, or riverside, full stop. In certain areas, in certain areas, she walks for about two miles to get water. 
Uh, that's what he means by time. What did, what did he say? Uh, time order. That's what he means by time order. So that's 5 a.m. Then 6 a.m. Sets fire to warm water for the children to have their bath and cook their breakfast. Full stop. Have to bath her children if they aren't old enough to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Then gives them money and sends the children to school. Now, by then it may be 7 a.m. So we come to 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. 7 a.m. Sets off to farm or market if a market day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Typical rural life. Mm -hmm. On the same same on this sorry on the farm she weeds plants or harvest depending on the farming season Puts up before returning before returning home she searches for food and firewood and carries the heavy load from the farm comma from the farm comma some kilometers away to the house with the baby on her back well, this, these activities vary from place to place. Huh? In certain areas, it is rather the men. The, the women are restricted to the home, to the house, kept taking care of children and uh, household chores, while the men rather set out for five o'clock or listen to the farm. Anyway, whatever, whether it's woman or man, uh, it's still worth uh, appreciating. Mm -hmm. So let's go to four o'clock. Huh? Yeah, let's go to four, four, eight, no, four p.m. Sorry, the fellow, the woman has now returned from the farm with some food stuff also. So it's going to four p.m. So from seven a.m. it's been work, 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 work on the farm and return home with some food stuff. So then we we start again from four p.m. Four p.m. reaches home from the farm, exhausted by work and working for long hours but has no time to rest. Oh my God. And has no time to rest. This reality, this show, this for sure. Mm, and has no time to rest. I repeat it. She starts to prepare the evening meal for the family. Full stop. The rural family usually prefers fufu, which takes a longer time and is more tedious to prepare. Full stop. Having, after taking supper, she does, she does anything other than work, after taking supper, she does any, sorry, after taking supper, she does any other work not done in the day, like washing dirty clothes. So like I said, this article is uh, referring to people in the southern part of Ghana. In the northern part, no, women do, do not generally, things are changing anyway, but traditionally they don't even farm. They only go for harvest and they pamper the men with romance. You know what I mean? I was in 1980, I went home from my journey in Lagos and I went to a friend and I was there in the evening and the man was sitting, I was sitting together with, I was sitting together with the man and the wife fetched water, took it in a bucket, took it in a bucket, took it to the bathroom. We were all watching her. She came from the bathroom and knelt down before the man and told him, I have put your water in the bathroom. And the woman, the man, then didn't say anything, but of course he's telling him he can go and bath now. That is romance. You don't see it as romance. In the former, the, what I read here in this uh, video, in this, uh, sorry, in this episode, they say you cuddle, you do this. They don't cuddle much outside, no. The locals, they won't. The cuddling is done in the room. But the romance is done without body contact. So everybody with their version of romance, that's romance. Because other than we, myself and my friend, we saw her fetching the water. We saw her taken to the bathroom. But she still comes to kneel down. Viewers, romance or not romance? So there are various, various versions of romance. Mm -hmm. Okay, dirty uh, closing. Then we go to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Time to retire to bed. But sorry, no rest yet. 
Here, another type of work awaits the woman. Yes, the husband must satisfy his or her sexual desires. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> eh? Okay, I think this is so it's a form of relaxation for the woman too. I think some of course. Mm, I think so. Because while she's walking and doing walking around and doing things, she still has sexual needs. Mm? So to refer to it as being a kind of work or getting tired, no, I I wouldn't I wouldn't side with you, uh Mr. Ebenezer Iwa. Mm? So let's see, okay, let's go. Yes, the husband must satisfy his into brackets and her sexual desire. Oh, okay, I see. I didn't read that. So the woman, the, the husband must satisfy his into brackets and her sexual desires. I love that. Mm -hmm. She can't have a full night's rest. Full stop. She must submit herself for sex even when too tired to do so. Okay, I think so, yes. Yes. Even when too tired to do so. Otherwise, she invites the wrath of her husband. And wrath means including beatings. <laughs> Sorry to say that. Or oh, insults. <laughs> eh? Meanwhile, both of them have worked hard. As the one is working hard, the husband also works hard in the north. In the south here, I don't know. Mm, maybe the husbands in the south here, most of them, you see them under trees taking palm wine. That's alcohol. The woman does everything and comes home and cook for him to eat. Mm. For some averagely, let me say averagely. Uh, let me see. She must submit herself for say yes. Uh, she invites the wrath of her husband. Yes, that's where we stop. Then, then we go back to start the clock. Uh, paragraph. At 5 a.m., she wakes up and the routine starts all over again. Life, life, it's the typical life huh? of the rural person. Mm -hmm. And the routine starts all over again, puts up. In due course, she becomes pregnant and endures all the discomforts and pains that come with it. But the routine must continue no matter her condition. Yes. The routine must continue no matter her condition. I remember in Ghana, those under government payroll, working especially, I've been in the works, uh, health sector, sector eh? the slightest thing, they don't go to work. They just say, I'm sick, get sick leave. Can you imagine that? The slightest thing. Sometimes they don't come, they just fake sickness and stay at home. But compare this to this, woman, this red writing concerning our village mothers and fathers. Hmm? Some people miss work for a week, one month. They don't go to work. They stay and collect salary. Collect pay. And then cry for more pay. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the, routine must, but the routine must continue no matter her condition. Huh? Life must go on. Yes. She can't. No, life must go on. She can only have some rest when she is seriously sick. And that is no rest either. <laughs> I love that. Yes, she can also have some rest, uh, some rest when she's seriously sick. But then when you are sick, is it rest? It's no rest either. Oh, Ebenezer, thank you. Thank you, Ebenezer Ewa. Hmm? Wherever you are, I salute you. Hmm? When she's seriously sick. And that is no rest either. And when sick, she cannot, in all cases, have the sympathy of her husband or the best medical care. Poor woman. Hmm? Before getting to the hospital, it will take hours. They have to plan. They have to uh, uh, worship somebody with a vehicle in the area, either a motorbike or something. Because when they feel sick, they have to get their help to take them to a nearest hospital. Things are changing now anyway. We are getting help centers in many rural areas. But before, no. Getting to the health center is another problem. Hmm? Uh, let me retrace my steps. Mm -hmm. And that is no rest either. 
And when she, she cannot, in all cases, have the sympathy of her husband or the best medical care, poor woman. Uh, paragraph. She spends most of her lifetime to have children, to raise them up and care for them. Uh, full stop. She feeds clothes and gives them the necessary care. Full stop. After doing all this, one day an ungrateful son accuses her of being a witch, takes a cutlass and tries to butcher her. Life, life, life. It's happening. These are realtors. She goes to a church somewhere and a foolish pastor, excuse me to say, a foolish pastor, will tell him the mother is the cause of her trouble, of his trouble, sorry. Oh, yes, or of her trouble. Some foolish pastor. Some foolish, hungry pastor and stomach pastor will tell him the mother is the cause of his troubles. And so he wants to put the woman to death. God is watching and tries to put her. Last paragraph. She spends most of her time caring for her husband, cooking, washing, and satisfying his sexual desires. She gives her love to him. She gives her love to him and trusts him. Full stop. In spite of all this, the ungrateful husband takes up a gun one day and shoots the woman, accusing her of being unfaithful to him. Full stop. This must not go on. Must it? This must not go on. Must it? Oh, this must not go on. Must it? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, where is it? Okay, she gives, she gives, oh, where is it? Uh, she gives her love to him and trusts him. In spite of all these things, the ungrateful husband takes up a gun one day and shoots the woman, accusing her of being unfaithful to him. This must not go on, must it? Men must respect their wives and great time. Sorry, men must respect their wives and treat them as humans and not as things, as not as possessions. They have an advantage too. Mm -hmm. Finally, when the man, the man, the man, the men also work very hard, mm -hmm. especially in the northern part of Ghana, in the south, yes, some also work very hard. And when it's time to die, they bequeath everything to the wife. So you see women owning houses, big, big houses, mm, and plantations. Mm, uh, what do you call properties or estates that have been decreed to their men. The men do suffer a lot. Mm, they do hard work, and uh, the women sit at home, or, or, or more than the women. Let me say they do more hard work than the women, and they get weaker earlier than the women. They die and they defeat homes to them. Property. Oh, my lovely Ajua. Take this. I bequeath this farm to you. And you show her the boundaries of her uh, farm or plantation. And so, Ebenezer, let me add my own to yours. Wherever you, are, you may be. Uh, I think we should end here. The rest of the story we'll do in our next episode. Uh, so, we'll still go to page 10 of... Uh, PMP, People and Places, February 17 to 19. Uh, we hope to read uh, Saved by the Stars, Campus Life, and then My Deepest Regret, and Root. Thank you very, very much, viewers, uh, for listening to my signs in the tabloids. We shall continue next week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.